All right, let's look at 3.3. The square-based post cap, remember each of the poles had the cap, that's what we're looking at, has a side length of 15,24 centimeters and a constant height of 2,5 centimeters. Okay, so it's shown us sort of very nicely how this works. The perpendicular height of the triangular face is 7,86 centimeters as shown in the diagram. So everything's in centimeters, be happy about that. Let's keep reading. Okay, um, net of the faces of one of the post caps to be painted. Okay, it's just to show you, show you this in a different form. Andrew will paint two sides of each of the concrete posts. Okay, uh, each is 12 comma, uh, well, one, two, five millimeters wide and one comma six meters long. So you see here, this is in millimeters, this is in meters, we're working in centimeters. That's why I was like already converting it to centimeters in my head. But we need to make sure that we're working all in the same measurement. Otherwise, things are going to go crazy. Okay. And and all the outer faces of the post caps. So basically, he's going to um, paint two sides of the posts, right? Because you have these posts. And then at the top, he's going to paint the whole, right? All of the faces, um, of the post caps. Now, please note, he's not going to paint the underside of the post caps, right? Because those are going to be on top of the post, right? From what I understand, but we'll see it as we continue. And the for following formula are given. Generally, you're going to use these if they're given, but let's not panic. Let's just go through this quickly and thoroughly to make sure we understand. So it says, use the information above to answer the questions that follow. Calculate it in centimeters squared. The total area of all the post sides, right? So we're talking about the post sides. We're not talking about the caps here that have to be painted. Okay, so the post sides is this and this, okay? That's the width and that's the length. Remember, it's just area. We're not talking about volume. Area of a rectangle, length times width. So firstly, let's put them into centimeters. Why? Because it asked for centimeters. So first step we're going to write here is we're going to say, well... 125 millimeters equals 12,5 centimeters. That's the first thing you're going to do. Why? Because there are 10 millimeters in one centimeter. So I literally just divided by 10. Then I'm going to say, well, 1,6 meters equals 1,600 centimeters. Okay. Why? Because 100 centimeters equals one meter. Okay, so we have that there. We now can go and do our area. Our area of a rectangle over here, area of a rectangle, length times width. We're just going to times those two. They're both in centimeters and we can continue. Okay, so my area is going to equal 12,5 times this. Okay, let's just check I did this correctly. 1,6 times 100. Mm, I did not do it correctly, right? You're probably thinking this girl's crazy and you're right. Remember, I'm timesing it by 100. So here I times by 100 because I was moving to a smaller unit. Here I divided by 10 because I was moving to a bigger unit. Very important that you understand your units here. Okay, so then I'm going to say 12,5 times 160. And it's going to give me 2,000 centimeters squared. Okay, but that's only one post. Okay, so we have to be careful here because it's only one post. And it's only one side of a post. So there's lots of things we haven't accounted for yet. Because what did the question say? The question said, or the information it said, he's going to paint two sides of the post. So we have to times that 2,000 by 2 just to get both sides of one post. And then there's 12 posts. How do we know there's 12 posts? From the previous question. Okay. So you need to continue with that line of logic. So we say, mm, we're not done. We have to continue. We say 2,000 times by 2. Because that's now saying the front of the post and the back of the post. So that's where the 2 comes in. And then we have to times by 12 to say, well, we're doing the front and back of the post for 12 posts. So that's where we're at. And that is going to be our final answer. So we're going to say 2,000 times by 2, front and back, times by 12. And that is our answer. Remember the little squared because we're doing area and we've answered our question. Just a minute. 
pause here. You probably say, Monia, you know, often in questions, you say not to spend too much time on the information and just to go to the questions. It's a little bit different when it comes to area and volume questions. Why? Because area and volume questions, all the information is given there and you really need to understand it and flow through it. So area and volume questions, you have to focus a lot more on understanding the information. Otherwise, you're going to fall short. Okay, so let's see if we answered the question. We did the total area of all the post sides that have been painted. So it was 2,000 for the front, 2,000 for the back, times it by 12. So we're doing well there. Let's continue to the next question. Okay, the next question is a big question. Look at that mark allocation. So we're going to be doing quite a lot of working out and we're, we're okay with that. We're not gonna panic. We're just gonna do the step by step. Duncan, right, remember that's Andrew's friend, stated that the total area of all the posts and the post caps, so we know what the total area of the posts are, but not the post caps, so we're going to have to work that out, to be painted was 52,704 centimeters, rounded to the nearest whole number. So we're going to have to round off our answer once we do our calculation, because that's what it's saying. Verify showing all calculations whether the statement is valid. So we have to do our calculations and then we have to say, yeah, Duncan was right or wrong. That last little Duncan is right and wrong, there's a mark allocated there. So don't forget about that. Let's do this step by step. So we've worked out the area of the posts. So we don't have to do that, but we do have to do the caps. So let's now do the caps and make sure that we're on top of it. The caps are a little bit tricky, right? Because when I'm painting them, I'm painting the little bottom bit here, and I'm painting the top bit here, and there's four per, per post cap, right? So there's a lot of moving pieces. Let's start by just doing these little portions at the bottom, and let's just do one first, okay? Everything there is in centimeters, so it's fabulous. We don't have to change anything, and so let's work on those little ones at the bottom, those little rectangles at the bottom, okay? So areas of the rectangles, is going to be 2,5 times 15,24. Okay, got that all from my diagram. Pop that in. And there's my answer, 38,1 centimeters squared. Okay, so now that is only one. Okay, that's only one. Each post cap has four. So now we need to take that 38,1 and we times it by four to get what one post cap, all of the little rectangles on that post cap, what is the area? What is the surface area? Very important word there. What's the surface area there? Okay, so now of one cap, right? One of one post cap, we've done the area of all of these guys. So we're done. Now we're going to move to our little triangles there at the top. A little bit trickier. But the area of a triangle, right, is half base times perpendicular height. What is the base here? 15,24. What is the perpendicular height? They told us there in the thing, perpendicular height is 7,8. They put it in the diagram as well. So it's not actually that hard. We say, well, area of the triangle is just going to equal half times base times height. All of that's from the question. So we actually, it's not too difficult. It's all about just taking it step by step. Okay. Great, half times base, times height. Make sure you type in that in correctly, okay? We're in a good place, place there, and that is 59,8932. I'm not rounding off, it's not my final answer. We only round off at the end. Similarly to above though, there isn't just one triangle in each cap. There's actually one, two, three, four, okay? So now we have to say 59,8932, we have to times it by four to get for a whole cap, right? Because we can't be working with little bits and bobs of a cap, we have to work with whole caps. So we times it by four, and that is our whole cap. So now, these are my triangles on my cap, those are my rectangles on my cap, okay? And if we look here, my rectangles plus my triangles, they make up my whole cap, so I have to add them together. So I'm gonna say, fifth, one five two comma four plus two three nine comma five seven two eight that's the, the surface area of one cap but how many caps are there in total there's 12 so we have to times that by 12 we add those together say that's one and then we have to divide all of that by 12 
Okay, make sure that you are writing this in correctly. So we're going to say my answer, which was one was two three nine comma five seven two eight plus one five two comma four. That gives me the surface area of one cap. But I have to times it by twelve. So my total area there is going to be four seven oh three comma six seven three six centimeters squared. So that's of all my caps. Okay, let's now go back to the question and see what's required of us. Let's see if we're done. Duncan stated that the total area of all the posts and the post caps to be painted was 52704. So we have to add this. Okay, so we're going to say 4703 comma 6736. And we have to add it to the area of our posts. Right, of painting our posts, and we have that already, so we just add that four eight zero zero zero, okay, and that gives me five two seven zero oh, three comma six seven three six centimeters squared. But remember, in the question, it said rounded to the nearest whole number. Okay, if it's the nearest whole number, we look at the first decimal. It's six, which is above five. So if we round it off. It's going to be this. Okay, so actually, Duncan is correct, right? We worked out the volume of, we worked out the area of the posts, the post caps, we added them together, and so his statement is valid. But you have to put that conclusion, therefore, valid. And then you're done. Okay, so do you see how I work through this very methodically? It's also very important to do your questions and answer in order because do you see how we use the previous answer here when we did our answer over here okay we're not finished yet we have one more question so let's go on to the last question for this video okay the last question for this video 3.3.3 the spread rate of the paint is 12.46 liters per meter squared calculate how many liters of paint is needed for this um, area that he has to paint. Now, this is in meter squared and that is in centimeter squared. So we have to convert this to meter squared. Now, because there's a two, right, you have to do something slightly differently. Okay. A hundred centimeters equals one meter, but a hundred squared centimeters squared equals one meter squared. Okay, so do you see how those two, it's the same thing here, you could even go here to cubed, right? So this is area and this is volume. So now, if I want to convert my centimeters squared to meters squared, I have to divide by 100 squared, okay? So it's a little bit tricky. Students often forget that, right? So I'm hoping this is something that you'll remember, okay? You put that in. So we're going to say 5, 2, we're, not, we're now working with our rounded because that's what they asked us to do, divided by 100 squared. And it says that we need 5, 2, well, not that we need, sorry, that this is this many meters squared. Okay, that's how many meters squared it is. Great. Okay, that's how many meters squared it is. For each meter squared, we need 12, 4, 6. Wonderful, no problem. We just say 5,72704, sorry. We times it by 12,46. So we say all these meters squared that we have, we have to times it by the liters that we need. So we say five. <clears throat> oh, sorry, was my answer there right? Yep, so we take my answer. We times it by this. And that gives us 65,669 liters, okay? Now we're not done because we, it said, calculate how many liters of paint is needed, right? Now we, we, because it asked for liters, it wants you to actually round it off, okay? So if we needed to paint all of this, we couldn't buy 65 liters, that wouldn't cover everything. We'd need to buy 66 liters and there's our answer. Okay, because when you go to a paint shop, you can't say, sorry, can I have 65, 6, 6, 9, right? No, 
also makes sense to just have a little bit extra paint, right? This question for me was the most difficult question thus far in the paper, but let's move on to question four and see what we can do.